呃，首先介绍我自己，我是中国民主运动海外联席会议主席，也就是中国反对派的领袖之一。Uh, first, I want to introduce myself. Uh, uh, I'm the chairman of the Overseas Chinese Democracy Coalition, and uh, I'm one of the leaders uh, for the Chinese uh, opposition to the communist regime. I express gratitude to the two friends who just spoke. They said what I wanted to say. 呃，江开瑞参议员到北京去，代表克林顿总统找我谈论要不要建立自由亚洲电台的问题。啊、uh, ，back in 1994, uh, uh, former Senator John Kerry, who went to Beijing and、uh, talked to me about to establish Radio Free Asia, should or should not. 那时候我第一次听说了你们的基本原则是言论自由的补充。And、that was the first time I heard about you, and your one of your principle is to supplement as a supplement to the freedom of speech. 刚才我听主席先生也提到了这个原则。And, and I heard the similar talk by the chairman too. 但是我十几年来在美国听到具体的工作人员们谈论更多的是他们要言论自由平衡。Uh, however, in the past more than ten years, I heard the, the detail. Uh, pe- uh, the people works for the agency、uh, talked more about the balance of the、uh, news and the information. Their 意思就是说，呃，我们还要给共产党一定的发言的机会。And that sounds like we will give the rooms for the communists to speak、uh, what they wanted. 我的些那个很多听众向我反映的问题也是，他们觉得美国之音和自由亚洲电台越来越讲了更多的共产党的语言。啊、uh, ，What I have heard from the audience of both Radio Free Asia and the Voice of America, they also reflect to me. They also reported to me seems that both stations has be speaking more and more in line with the communist China. 他们给了。那些替共产党宣传的人更多的时间，而且甚至共产党的情报机关的头头、研究人员都在这儿有发言的机会。They offer the the、uh, people uh in favor of the communist regime uh much more time on their、uh, on their broadcasting and even to the heads of their intelligent officers to speak in their stations. 这么多年来，美国之音和自由亚洲之所以丢掉了很多中国的观众，原因就在这儿。Recent years, both VOA and the Radio Free Asia lost a lot of audience due to this reason. 他们共产党的宣传已经是非常非常多了，他们不希望听到这这这两个电台也在替共产党宣传，他们希望听到的是共产党不说的那些东西。Communist China has a very powerful、uh, propaganda machine all over, all over, and they have heard enough of propaganda. They want to hear something, hear something different. So I think the principle of freedom of speech is very important. But in the specific work, I think they don't hold to this principle. So I think it's very important that you become a supplement for the freedom of speech. Unfortunately, I did not see this to be truly carried out in the detailed work. 一方面是因为一些领导他们听不懂中文的广播，他们也头脑里也有一些不太好的观念。One reason is some of the leaders do not understand the Chinese, and they do not have quite the right for、uh, concept. 呃，另外很重要一条，我觉得，呃，人员的问题也非常重要。有很有很多的工作人员，他们的头脑并不是站在民主自由这方面，而是，呃，很同情共产党。The second reason is because the detail work, the staff and the workers, some people are not quite stand on the camp of democracy and the freedom. Uh, some of them are very sympathetic to the communist regime in China. 这不是我的意见，这是很多很多听众向我反映的，他们在拼命的指责我，呃，认为我没有去那个帮助这两个电台，让人呃受到人们的欢迎。This is not even my opinion only. It's it's really I'm simply relate to what I heard from audience 
they even condemn, they even criticize me for not being able to encourage you to do the right way. 我觉得很重要一个问题是这你们这个BBG的机构缺少一个监督监督的机构。I think one of the very important reasons that could be corrected is that BBG is a lack of a, a, a agent to monitoring what you are broadcasting. 听众是如何反应的, 如何赞扬, 或者如何批评这两个电台, 或者某一些播音员, this uh, uh, supervising monitoring a, uh, a committee or whatever agent should be independent because uh, right now the what the audience reaction the positive the negative reaction as well as the criticisms various sense it's your own station is monitoring in, instead of independently monitored so you, can, um, can we wrap up because I appreciate your comments can... uh, go so I think uh, the monitoring system is very important. That you need uh, one independent and uh, be very objective. 另外，我要强调的一个问题就是广播节目不应该消减，而且要加强. Finally, I want to emphasize uh, that the shortwave broadcast should broadcasting should not be cut off. Instead, you should be enhancing it. 中国虽然有两亿的电脑用户，但是这在中国人口中只占到不到五分之一. Also, there is a 200 million of population in China have internet, but that's not even 20% of the whole population. Most of the poor people in China cannot, uh, can only listen to shortwave broadcasting, and that's all they could afford. If there's no broadcasting, I think the United States and the United States will not have so many people. Without the shortwave broadcasting, I'm afraid uh, that uh, both VOA and the Radio Free Asia would lose a lot of your audience. Thank you. Thank you.